song. Testing, sound check, testing, sound check, testing.
The program is about to begin. May I request the participants of the processional to please be ready now.
Ladies and gentlemen, let us welcome the EBCS administrators, basic education faculty and staff, guests, grade school and high school candidates for graduation and completion, with their parents in their processional.
please stand for the invocation and the singing of the Philippine National Anthem, Zamboanga Hermosa and Ebenezer School Song. Let us all bow down our heads and let's pray. Our Heavenly Father, gracious and merciful to all, we thank you for sending the Lord Jesus Christ, whom we have seen in the play that they have portrayed. Thank you, Lord, for your love that even though we are sinners, you died for us and you allowed us to experience the grace that comes from you. Thank you also, Lord, for this morning that we can witness your faithfulness through the lives of the graduates and the completer. Thank you, Lord, on how you have sustained each one of them, including their parents, whom you have generously provided resources to support them in their studies. Our Father, may you vindicate this ceremony and may God, the Holy Spirit, fill each one's heart with joy and illumine us to trust you at all times. Bless our guests, the admins, teachers, parents, and friends. And most especially, we pray, Lord, that the graduates and completers will remember this moment that you have given them. This we pray in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
please be seated. Reverend Ricky Ilagare, EBCS Resident Director, will now give the welcome address. To our dear and hard-working President, Dr. Richard C. Rojas, distinguished guest, Ma'am Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez, the Education Program Supervisor for Science of the Department of Education, Sambuanga City, Ma'am, the Basic Education 24-7 Principal, Ms. Mona Rose Martin, Competent teachers, ever supportive parents, students, visitors, good morning. My congratulations to all the graduates. You are hard pressed with several challenges, yet you have kept your faith. You remain committed to learning and discovering your potential and skills. And this joint graduation and completion exercises affirms how you, students, having must be proud of yourself. You have steadily endured being the strongest collaborators of your children. To the teachers, your dedication is unprecedented. Whatever these students or graduates have learned in school, that is because you have persisted in molding them toward excellence. To God be all the glory and honor. This is such an enriching day for all of us, especially to our dearest students. Let us fill this venue with a grateful heart for this another milestone that they have attained. My warmest welcome to all of you and may God bless this occasion, the joint graduation and completion exercises of grades 6 and 10 students. Good morning and once again, welcome. Madam Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez, Education Program Supervisor for Science, by virtue of the authority given to me by the Board of Trustees, a school principal of the basic education, and upon the recommendation of the faculty and administrative officers, I hereby present to you 20 elementary candidates for graduation, of which Six are boys, and 14 are girls, who have successfully fulfilled all the requirements for graduation. I also hereby present to you 25 junior high school candidates for completion, of which 10 are males, and 15 are females, who have successfully fulfilled all the requirements for completion. By the authority vested in me by the school's division superintendent, Maharani M. Jacinto, who is vested with the power by the secretary of the Department of Education, Region 9, Zamboanga Peninsula, and through the regional director, and upon the certification of your principal, Madam Mona Rose Martin, the 20 grade 6 candidates for graduation and 20 grade 10 candidates for completion 25. have satisfactor 25 grade 10 candidates for completion have satisfactorily completed the requirements 
for basic education prescribed by the Department of Education, I now accept and confirm you, graduates and completers of Ebenezer School, Batch 2023. You are now entitled to receive your certificates with all the rights, honor, and privileges appertaining thereto. God bless everyone and congratulations. We would like to request our president to join us on stage for the distribution of diplomas. We are requesting the audience to please refrain from clapping. We will do the clapping together after the graduates and completers have all been confirmed. Jerome Lee L. Delgado. Regis C. Esto. Jaril D. Langres. Abdel Aziz R. Sakam. Zapira R. Abduhazad. Alea S. Ami Ashley E. Aniero Princess Alicia G. Bakud. Chloe Nicole B. Castaneda. Bian Kailin C. Dayot Elise Pauline Q. Evangelista Princess J. N. U. Ilaji Erin Grace Riza L. Luis Jaira Sofia G. Majos
Camila M. Maulad. Aitana K. Rabor Rihanna Karin I. Salahuddin Darin Abigail R. Tampan Thank you and congratulations Nicole Brian K. Avestrus John Arthur M. Kaitong Renato B. Castaneda Kyle Francis G. Dawang Dale Junro R. Kangon Erich Angelo U. Lim Vince Carl G. Padron Janelle G. Salvador Zamir Smith A. Sampa Prince Alhanri J. Wahab Mary Tetis R. Adriano Christine Jire M. Bonnie Raisha Carmela A. Batakan
Amorel Jane S. Chua. Simon Aurel M. Duzaran Erica Isabel M. Jamilil Kirstin K. C. Jumauas Zarina V. Laja Samara Gliniel M. Liedo Dene Joy L. Luis Jesley Ann B. Oporto Eliza Nicole M. Taronga Liz Daniel D. Tarosa And ni Carlene Claudette C. Timpanco Thank you and congratulations! Fellow learners, please all stand. Let us all say together our pledge to the Bible. I pledge allegiance to the Bible, God's holy word. I will make it a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will hide its word in my heart that I may not sin against God. Please stand for the reading of scriptures. Our scripture reading is found in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 7. I will be reading from the New International Version. For this very reason, make every effort to add to your faith goodness, and to goodness, knowledge, and to knowledge, self-control, and to self-control, 
perseverance, and to perseverance, godliness, and to godliness, mutual affection, and to mutual affection, love. May God bless the reading of his word. Please be seated. Our speaker for this very special occasion finished Bachelor of Science in Elementary and Secondary Education major in General Science at Mindanao State University Tawi-Tawi College of Technology and Oceanography, Master of Arts in Science Education at Western Mindanao State University and completed the academic requirements for Doctor of Education and Western Mindanao State University. Our speaker worked as science teacher for 15 years at Isabella E. Central Elementary Pilot School, or ICEPS, Isabella City Division, as school principal for seven years in Isabella City Division, and as Division Science Supervisor of Zamboanga City Division in June 2014 up to the present. Our speaker served as trainer resource speaker on the following topics, continuous improvement, Assessment, assessment test construction, teaching pedagogy and basic science process in, and integrated skills. Presently, our speaker worked as the education program supervisor for science devoted to providing technical assistance to teachers in improving their pedagogical skills through capability building, coaching, mentoring sessions, and classroom observations, training, upskilling, reskilling on classroom assessment, test construction, instructional planning, continuous improvement, teaching pedagogy, classroom science investigation, and basic and integrated science process skills. Our speaker also worked as the division program coordinator for the following special science program. Special science elementary schools elementary and science and technology and engineering secondary and sits as member of the Division Selection Committee for Senior High School Applicants. Ladies and gentlemen, with great joy and honor, let us welcome our commencement speaker, a woman of God, Ma'am Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez. Thank you. Please be seated. My warmest greetings to the school officials, to the administrators, to the faculty members, to the guests and parents, including the guardians of the grade six graduates and our grade 10 completers of Ebenezer School, school year 2022-2023. Dear students, Congratulations on this special day where your hard work and your perseverance have finally paid off. This day is a commemoration of your achievements, the most deserved achievement resulting from the steadfast and immovable will to survive amidst pandemic where your resilience is put to its greatest test. Resilience is in the blood of every Filipino student. It is because of this virtue which enabled you to move through hardship and become better. We at DEPED is among the hardest hit by the pandemic. After analyzing the student data outcomes, it was concluded that the learners experience a significant amount of learning loss due to pandemic. Because of this observation, DepEd policymakers and curriculum planners were bent on improving the resilience of education systems, which became our primordial goal. These are systems that are more flexible, fully dedicated to all children through a range of learning modalities and technologies 
and better equipped to face potential crises. Indeed, education is a shared responsibility. This is why we express our utmost appreciation to our dear parents and teachers for guiding and supporting our learners to survive one of the toughest times in human history. That's why, students, let us take this opportunity to thank your parents and express how grateful you are for the support, for the love, for the patience, for the understanding, and forgiveness they endlessly provide to make your everyday experience a happy and comfortable one. So, dear students, let us all stand and face your parents, wherever they are. Harapin niyo sila. Face them, and then say out loud, Thank you, Ina. Thank you, Ama. Thank you, Nai Tai. Say it. All right. So this is the only time that you can thank them with all your heart. So, and also to our dear teachers, face your teachers and thank them as well. Shout. Okay. So, thank you. Please be seated. And this time, tap the shoulder of the person right next to you. Alright? Sino yung nasa right ninyo? Tap nyo at saka sabihin sa kanya with all sincerity. Thank you for your support, my friend. Say it. Yung nasa right nyo. <laughs> Alright? Ngayon, tap the person to your left. Sino yung nasa left nyo? At sabihin with sincerity naman. Kaya, mag-aral kang mabuti. <laughs> All right. So, thank you. At present, school systems are focused on recovering the learning losses while ensuring that learning continues. However, the greater challenge education sector, including the homes, are facing is how to institute effective and sustainable measures for moral recovery. More than ever, homes and schools should be at the front line of nurturing youths who truly understand that every decision has corresponding consequence. We need students who are morally or ethically sound our country needs young leaders who value integrity over popularity. Like in your generation, a lot of you are maybe fan of those people who are very popular at social media, but let us value integrity more than popularity. To our dear students, listen to this. Use your knowledge to exercise some control over how and what you think. Develop the consciousness and awareness to choose what you pay attention to and to choose how you construct meaning from your experiences. Your identity is something that you are constantly earning through the daily choices you are making. Probably you're not aware that every single day you are making choices. Are you aware of that? Pagising mo pa lang sa umaga, may choice ka na agad. And what would that be? Maliligo ako o hindi? Kakain ako ng breakfast o hindi? Gatas ang iinumin ko o coffee? So those are daily choices that you make every single day. And your identity, as you build your identity, it will largely be dependent on the daily choices that we are making every single day. You are not just parroting your parents or the thoughts of your learned teachers. Because if you cannot exercise this kind of choice early on, your adult life will be compromised. So one of the best things that you can do is to make right choices every single day. Now, as you step into adulthood and start to reach your goals, 
there will be harder challenges to overcome, even harder than the COVID-19 pandemic. But the valuable lessons we learned from the recent disaster have left some invaluable marks which distinguished the negotiables from the non-negotiables, like our physical, mental health, and relationship with God, with our family, with friends, and other people. Armed with the best learning from past experiences and mistakes, choose how you respond to every situation as you take these next steps in life. It can be hard to imagine what life could look like as someone progresses. The only certainty we have is that time goes on and the future will surely arrive. What do you envision in your future? Probably a lot of you already think about pursuing your, your dream. So, kaya ba nating anticipate what our future would be like? What do you think? Perhaps yes? Perhaps no? Probably yes. What you will be in the future, dear students, largely depends on the choices you are making today and every single day. So, that means to say, what you are today is the result of the choices that you have made in the past. So, ano kayo magiging bukas will be dependent on the choices that you'll be making today. So, if you dream of becoming a teacher like me someday, you will have to make right choices towards that direction. If you like to become an engineer like your father perhaps, so the choices are to be made now, not tomorrow. Because tomorrow might be too late to make that decision. Whatever you plan on doing after graduation in your senior high or even in college, it will surely impact society. Therefore, as you establish your identity, pursue integrity. Be honest. Be kind. Be compassionate. Be loving. Be forgiving. According to Oprah Winfrey, the key to life is developing an internal moral, emotional GPS that can tell you which way to go. Alam nyo kanong GPS, right? Does everybody know about GPS? Diba? Smartphones natin, may GPS. So, ano kaya yan? It's an app, a navigational app that tells you which direction to go. So, sabi ni Oprah, I think oh, that's one of the good things to have. To have an internal GPS which could tell us which way to go. The right way to go. So what kind of moral and emotional GPS have you installed in your system? Lastly, let me leave you a program for your internal GPS that can be found in 2 Peter chapter 1, verses 5 to 7. For this very reason, make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. Thank you very much, and congratulations once again. Thank you, Ma'am Leila, for that eye-opening message. I am sure that these graduates and completers will remember your inspiring words. So as we present this Certificate of Appreciation, let me read the citation first. Republic of the Philippines, Ebenezer Bible College and Seminary Incorporated, Zamboanga City, 
presents this Certificate of Appreciation to Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez in grateful appreciation for her participation as commencement speaker during the joint graduation and completion exercises of the Basic Education Department with the theme, K-12 graduates molded through a resilient educational foundation. Given this 14th day of July, 2023, Zamboanga City, Philippines, may the Lord reward you for what you have done. Ruth 2.12 Signed by Dr. Richard C. Rojas, EBCS President and Ms. Mona Rose R. Martin, School Principal A blessed morning, everyone. Indeed, it is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord for His kindness and His faithfulness to us, the Ebenezer family. Let us refresh our minds with a brief history of the genesis of Ebenezer School. As early as 1990, Dr. Adina Y. Lim, together with other Christian leaders and educators, felt the need of putting up a Christian school, one that caters to early childhood education and basic education. This dream was drawn into paper during the incumbency of Dr. Adina Y. Lim as president of Ebenezer Bible College and Dr. Metasalem Q. Castillo as chairman of the Ebenezer Board of Trustees. This dream was materialized during the presidency of Dr. Joel I. Ortiz. Ebenezer School opened in June 1993 to serve children of preschool age. Government recognition for preschool courses was granted in February 1995 under the pioneering leadership of Mrs. Cynthia Pada Lacanaria, who served as school head for two years, from June 1993 to April 1995. Then, Mrs. Zaida National Pada took over as head of the school for a couple of years, from June 1995 to April 1997. With her leadership, the primary grades were established and enrollment steadily increased. Since June 1997 to April 2010, our former principal, Ms. Corazon A. Bragado, directed the school. Educational innovations have been introduced. Government recognition for Ebenezer's complete elementary course was granted in May 2000. Confronted with the need of a secondary Christian education in the community, Ebenezer School sought and was granted government permission to open and operate first-year secondary curriculum in January 2001. In June of the same year, 16 pioneering students attended high school classes at ES. Ebenezer School received her government recognition for a complete secondary education last March 2005. The school graduated 18 secondary level students during her first graduation rites last April 2005. Dr. Metasalem Q. Castillo graced the occasion as guest speaker. In June 2010 to April 2014, Mrs. Charito Armina Salazar served as head of the school. Family-like working kinship among faculty and staff and homeschool partnership have been strengthened to promote healthier relationship among parents and other stakeholders. From June to November 2014, our school is headed by Mr. Levy D. Hikilan as OIC principal. Since December 2014, the school is headed by Ms. Monorose R. Martin. 
Ebenezer Bible College and Seminary, through its basic education department, has laid the groundwork for K-12, including the offering of senior high school. Government permit to operate senior high school was granted in December 2016, offering academic tracks, humanities and social sciences strand, UMS, and general academic strand, GAS, and arts and design track, performing arts music. On April 16, 2018, the school is granted recertification status, exceeding the minimum standards for having satisfactorily met the standards and completed the requirements of the certification program of the Private Education Assistance Committee, PAAC, for the Educational Service Contracting, ESC, of the GATSPE program of the Department of Education in accordance with DepEd Order Number 20, Series of 2017. Ebenezer School has been a member of the Association of Christian Schools International, AXI, since 1998. The school is now an AXI STAR program, a self-evaluation stage towards accreditation. Since 2004, ES has also become an active member of the Zamba Sultops Organization, of a private schools in southwestern Philippines. Through this, the school has been a recipient of the government's funding, a fund assistance to private education, educational service contracting, FAPE ESC. The school has become a member of the Central for Educational Measurement, Incorporated, since 2006. The school's membership in these organizations has helped the school enhance her educational programs as well as the management of the school. Ebenezer School exists to accomplish her mission, that is, to develop servant leaders who will serve as catalysts of Christ in the society. Our school's vision states, a growing network of Christ transforms servant leaders fulfilling the Great Commission. As Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6 says, Teach children how they should live, and they will remember it all their life. And in Proverbs chapter 1, verse 7 says, To have knowledge, you must first have reverence for the Lord. Now, on her 30th year of service, the Basic Education Department is rising stronger to the challenge of the new normal education and is continuously thriving and celebrating God's unwavering faithfulness throughout the years. More of God and less of us. Mabuhay, Ebenezer. To God be the glory. At the end of every school year, every pupil or student is recognized for his or her distinctive characteristic based on the advisor's keen observations. The class advisor, who has daily contact and association with the learner, sees better the particular positive trait a pupil or student displays. With the parent's help and support, and with the guidance of God's Spirit, this young person can blossom to become a great asset in our society. The pupil or student in each class will be called in alphabetical order. The males first, then the females. May we call up on stage the advisor of the grade 6 class, Ms. Joan L. Bantilan. Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the persistent grade 6 class. <laughs> Jerome Lee and
Jerome Lee L. Delgado with his father, a humble child. He does not boast about his achievements. Republic of the Philippines Ebenezer Bible College and Seminary Incorporated, Sambuanga City. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jerome Lee L. Delgado for excelling in mathematics, for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters, for having participated in the math challenge held at Filipino Turkish Tolerance School, for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning, and for having served as a student officer, student government organi organization, class representative. Given this 14th day of July 2023, Sambuanga City, Philippines, do your best to win full approval in God's sight. 2 Timothy 2.15a Signed, Monrose R. Martin, School Principal, and Joan L. Bantilan, Class, Grade 6 Class Advisor. Reggie C. Esto, with his sister, a friendly child, he can be great companion to his classmates. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Reggie C. Esto for being in the principal's list, second and third quarters, in the advisor's list, first quarter, for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Jariel D. Langres, with his tita, a courageous child, he shows bravery amid life's challenges. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jariel D. Langres for being in the principal's list, third quarter, and the advisor's list, first and second quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Marvin John M. Lumawan with his tita, a meek child. He, was, he willingly accepts given corrections. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Marvin John M. Lumawan for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Eliron Boris A. Rico with his father, an assertive child. He boldly expresses his thoughts and ideas in class. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Eliron Boris A. Rico for being in the advisor's list, first, second, and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Abdel Aziz R. Sakab with his grandmother, a content child. He displays pleasure in what he accomplished. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Abdel Aziz R. Sakab for being in the advisor's list, second and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Z. 
Zapira R. Abduhasad, with her mother, a concerned child, she shows empathy towards her teachers and classmates. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Zafira R. Abdul Hassan for excelling in educa education sa pagpapakatao and music for being in the principal's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Alea S. Aming, with, his with her father, a confident child, she shares her thoughts and feelings openly. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Alea S. Aming for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Ashley E. Añero, with her grandfather, a punctual child, she completes her task ahead of time. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Ashley E. Añero for excelling in Filipino and physical education, for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Princess Bien Alicia G. Bakun, with her mother, a kind child, she demonstrates compassion in dealing with her classmates. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Princess Vien Alicia G. Bakun for being the advisor's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Chloe Nicole B. Castaneda with her mother, a thankful child, she chooses the right words to speak to people around her. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Chloe Nicole B. Castaneda for being in the principal's list, second and third quarters in the advisor list, advisor's, advisor's list, first quarter and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Bian Kailin C. Dayot, with her brother, a submissive child, she willingly follows instructions given by the ones in authority. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Bian Kailin C. Dayot for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Elise Pauline Q. Evangelista, with her mother and Hannes Chad, she displays truthfulness in her words and actions. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Elise Pauline Q. Evangelista for being in the principal's list, second and third quarters, and the advisor's list, first quarter, for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Princess J. Ann Yu Ilaji, with her mother, a loving child, she shows sympathy towards her classmates in times of needs. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Princess J. Ann Yu Ilaji for being in the principal's list, second and third quarters in the advisor's list, 
first quarter and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Irene Grace Riza L. Luis with her mother, a dependable child. She, sh she makes herself avail available whenever her teachers and classmates need her help. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Irene Grace Riza L. Luis for excelling in technology and livelihood education, araling panlipunan and arts, for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters for having participated in the MOT Challenge held at Filipino-Turkish Tolerance School, for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning, and for having served as student officer, student government organization, class representative. Jaira Sophia G. Majos, with her mother, a perseverant child, she achieves her goals despite life difficulties. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jaira Sophia G. Majos for, having, for excelling in English and Bible education, for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Camila M. Maulad, with her father, a diligent child. She studies her lessons ahead of time in, and comes to school well prepared. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Camila M. Maulad for excelling in science, for being in the principal's list, first, second, and third quarters, for having earned the service award, for having participated in the math challenge held at Filipino-Turkish Tolerance School, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Aitana K. Rabor, with her mother, a flexible child, she relates well with the people around her. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Aitana K. Rabor for being in the principal's list, second quarter, in the advisor's list, first and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Rihanna Karin I. Salahuddin, with her mother, an enthusiastic child, she exhibits a joyful attitude amid difficult tasks. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Rihanna Karin J. Salahuddin for being in the principal's list, second and third quarters, in the advisor's list, first quarter, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. And Darin Abigail R. Tampal, with her mother, a determined child, she shows eagerness to learn further in her studies. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Darin Abigail R. Tampal for being in the principal's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Thank 
Thank you and congratulations. The Grade 10 Class Advisor, Ms. Jobelia G. Gumaos.
Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to present to you the fearless grade 10 class. Nicole Brian K. Avestrus, with his mother, a respectful student, he displays politeness to people in authority. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Nicole Brian K. Avestrus for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. John Arthur M. Kaitom, with his mother, a consistent student, he maintains a good attitude toward his studies. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to John Arthur M. Kaitom for being in Advisors List 1st, 2nd, and 3rd quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Renato B. Castaneda, with his sister, an assertive student, he expresses his thoughts and feelings openly. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Renato B. Castaneda for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning and for having served as student officer, student government organization, class representative. Francis G. Dawa, with his mother, a courageous student. He stands firm in the things he believes in. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Kyle Francis G. Dawa for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Dale Junro R. Kangon, with his father, a perseverant student, he is able to overcome challenges in his studies. Certificate of recognition. Grandfather, rather. Certificate of recognition is awarded to Dale Junro R. Kangon for being in the advisor's list first, second, and third quarters, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Eric Angelo Yu Lim, with his father, an acquisitive student. He usually asks questions during discussion to have a better understanding. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Eric Angelo Yu Lim for excelling in mathematics and Aralit Panlipunan for being the principal's list first, second, and third quarters for participating in math challenge held at Philippine Turkish Tol Tolerance School and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Vince Carl G. 
Archie Padron with his mother, a content student. He is satisfied with his achievements. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Bean Scar G. Padron for being the Advisors List second quarter and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Janelle G. Salvador with his mother, a cheerful student. He has exhibited a positive outlook in life amid challenges. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Janelle G. Salvador for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Zamir Smith A. Sampang with his father, a loving student. He demonstrates a caring attitude towards others. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Zamir Smith A. Sampang for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Henry J. Wahab with his father, an accountable student. He admits his wrongdoings and takes responsibility for his actions. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Prince Al Henry J. Wahab for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Mary Tatis R. Adriano with her mother, a thorough student. She does her work neatly and orderly. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Mary Tatis R. Adriano for being an advisor's list first, second, and third quarters for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning and for having served as Student Officer, Student Government Organization Secretary. Christine Jaire M. Bani, with her mother, a generous student, she cheerfully shares what she has. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Christine Jaire M. Bani for being an advisor's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Risha Carmela A. Batakan with her sister, a mixed student. She is calm in nature. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Risha Carmela A. Batakan for being an advisor's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Amorel Jane S. Chua with her mother, a merciful student. She shows compassion to others, especially to her friends. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Amorel Jane S. Chua for being an advisor's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning.
Simon Aurel M. Duzaran with her father, an enthusiastic student. She displays a joyful spirit to everyone she meets. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Simon Aurel M. Duzaran for being advisors list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Erica Isabel M. Jamilin with her mother, a confident student. She readily shares her thoughts and ideas. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Erica Isabel M. Jamilil for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Christine Kate C. Jumawas with, his, with her mother, rather, an available student. She willingly extends help to those in need. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Kirstin Kate C. Jumawas for being the principal's list first, second, and third quarters for participating in math challenge held at Philippine... Filipino Turkish Tolerance School and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Zarina V. Laja with her mother, a responsible student. She accomplishes her assigned tasks on time. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Zarina B. Laja for excelling in Technology Vocational Education Cookery for being the Principal's List Second Quarter in Advisor's List First and Third Quarters and for having earned the Service Award for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the Online and Modular Distance Learning and for having served as Student Officer, Student Government Organization, Vice President. Samara Glinyel M. Liedo With her mother, a truthful student, she genuinely expresses what she feels. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Samara Glinel M. Liedo for being the advisor's list first and second quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Danae Joy L. Luis with her father, a flexible student. She is able to adapt to changes around her. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Danae Joy L. Luis for excelling in English, Filipino, Science, Arts and Technology, Livelihood Education, Computer Hardware Servicing for being the principal's list first, second, and third quarters and for having participated in math challenge held at Filipino Turkish Tolerance School for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning and for having served as Student Officer, Student Government Organization President. Jane B. Naong, with her mother, a peaceful student. She has a calm disposition. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jane B. Naong for, and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning.
Jesley Ann B. Oporto. With her mother, a modest student, she displays humility in word and deed. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Jesley Ann B. Oporto for being in advisors list first, second, and third quarters for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning and for having served as student officer, student government organization class representative. Eliza Nicole M. Taronga, with her mother, a caring student. She shows sincere concern for her friends. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Eliza Nicole M. Taronga for being in advisor's list first, second, and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Rosa, with her cousin, a diligent student. She is focused and passionate in her studies. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Liz Danielle D. Tarosa for being the principal's list for third quarter and in advisor's list first and second quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Carlene Claudette C. Timpanko with her father, a creative student. She is able to artistically express herself in various ways. Certificate of Recognition is awarded to Nicarlene Claudette C. Timpanko for being an advisor's list second and third quarters and for having successfully completed all the course requirements for the online and modular distance learning. Congratulations!
We are privileged to have with us today one of our alumni who will share with us her testimony of praise. Let us welcome Lady Minister Euphren Mariel T. Lavinia Veron of Class 2011. Good morning, everyone. A rainy one at that. To the graduates, congratulations. To the parents and guardians, congratulations. To the advisors, faculty and staff, a job well done. Weeks prior to this day, Ma'am Mona, our dear principal, asked me to share my testimony as to how I have been trained by Ebenezer School. Tapos, syempre nag-isip ako, anong isi-share ko? Way, way, way back pa yun. Matagal na yun masyado, sobra. So nag-isip ako, I could share a lot of things like uh, one, for example, how to excel academically. Second, yung shinare ni Ma'am Leila kanina, right choices. But then God impressed to me last night this testimony that I have now to share with you today. This will be brief, so just bear with me. Success. What is success? How would you define success? Success has many different pictures depending on who defines it. Some would define it, define it as having dozens of medals and certificates hung at the walls of their houses for their parents to brag to their visitors. Tingnan mo ang anak ko, dami mo, mga ganyan. To them, that is success. I have raised a child of my own na ang daming achievement. Some would define it as earning five, six, seven digits salary for them to brag during friends' reunion or family get-togethers. Others would define it as having traveled to a lot of places. While some would define it as feeling fulfilled in creating their own family or circle. Well, to me, success does not mean any of those achievements. I do appreciate those and I do acknowledge those. But to me, rather, it is what you feel after having achieved something in your life. I am once again Euphrain Meryl Lavinia Varon, an alumni of Ebenezer School, graduated way, way, way back, year 2011, from high school. And I am here to share to you my testimony of how God made me see how successful I am in His eyes, despite the world's definition of it. In Ebenezer School, as most, if not all of you would agree, we learn a lot of things. Ang dami nating pinag-aralan. We learn how to thrive for academic excellence. We learned how to be disciplined and well-behaved as the institution uniquely taught us. We also learned how to be creative in a lot of things, paintings, art crafts, music, dancing for grades' sake, <laughs> cooking and sewing since we were taught that before, and even interior designing, every school event. Lahat excited dyan kasi ina-announce yan every program, eh, di ba? Above all this, I learned Christian values, especially Christian hope. Let me quote from a verse in the Bible, Proverbs 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go. When he is old, he will not depart from it. Grown-up adults are a reflection of how they were raised and trained as a child. The question is, where were they trained and who trained them? In one of the Sunday's past sermon, and I quote, when parents fail 
to teach God to their children, these children learn outside of the family. Let me expound on this. When parents fail to train their children to be good in the eyes of God, they are trained outside by other people and learn of different gods, namely self-satisfying pleasures, obsession for assurance from others just to feel loved, friends and love relationships, success that brings about destruction of other people, greed, and hating the world and its people. If you would agree with me, this generation is woke, diba? but aren't truly awake to God. They are not uninformed anymore, but rather they are misinformed. The world teaches them to satisfy themselves, to chase something that they think would make them happy, but ending discontented. I know a lot of us adults have this feeling most of the time. Chasing after something, thinking that kailangan ko to in, for me to be happy. Kailangan ko to to, pro to prove something sa ibang tao that I did something. But still, once we achieve that, we still end up discontented. And as an Ebenezerian, we were trained to hang on to God and this so-called Christian hope. Then no matter what happens, we have hope that will all be uh, that it will all be for the good and for God. And I am truly grateful to have learned that despite being portrayed as parents' nightmare for graduating as Suma. Suma sampung taon. God made me realize how successful I am for feeling contented and happy with where He has put me now. Not chasing over anything, not asking for fame, though I know my own strengths, not competing against other people or friends when it comes to whatever status, not desiring more than what I have in my hands. I am contented. Because even when I went through a hell lot of things after my high school, family matters, friendship matters, health matters, psychological matters, Ebenezer trained me to hold on to God and hope on Him. And so I knew it would all be well for me as God had intended. I am now happily married and mothering one child at my age of 28. And God be praised for how Ebenezer School trained me. I may have departed from those who taught me, but what mattered is that I am overcoming and rising up victorious through any circumstances because of how I was trained. So parents, advisors, faculty, and staff, your children, your students will be more exposed to the world from now on. They will meet different people and personalities. Have you trained them to be good men and women in your absence? Graduates, you will depart from the walls of Ebenezer. So equip yourselves with all the things that you have learned from your teachers, spiritual mentors, and parents. You will face more challenges outside than when you were here confined. And so I pray that you hold fast onto the hope God gave you as you were taught when you were still in this institution. Be good and be God's people to the world who don't know Him. 
and be successful in the eyes of God because I swear no one would care of your success more than him. Good morning and once again, congratulations to every one of you and the Lord be praised. Thank you, Lady Minister Euphrain. Truly, your testimony is a manifestation of God's faithfulness, and we are much honored to hear it straight from you. Ebenezer School is a division of basic education of EBCS. It started in 1993, offering early childhood education to children of preschool age in the community. On her 30th year of operation, the school celebrates God's faithfulness for her growth in three units, the preschool, grade school, and the high school. And today, we are celebrating the 24th grade school and 11th junior high school commencement exercises. Academic Excellence Awards are rewarded to pupils and students who have shown diligence and have excelled in their studies. Let us begin with the grade school honor pupils. Parents, please come on stage to don the medal. With honors and to receive a bronze medal goes to Princess Vien Alicia G. Bakud, top 15. Aitana K. Rabort, top 14. Reggie C. Esto, top 13. Jaril D. Langres, top 12.
Elise Pauline Q. Evangelista and Princess Jayan U. Ilaji. Top 11. Diana Karin Aysalahuddin, Top 10. Castaneda, top nine. Jerome Lee El Delgado, top eight. Zafira R. Abdul Hassad, top seven.
with high honors and to receive a silver medal goes to Darren Abigail Artompal, top six. Mila M. Maulal, top five. Alea S. Amin, top four. Jaira Sophia G. Majos, top two.
Grace, Riza, and Louise. Top one. Awards for outstanding performance in specific discipline are awarded to students who have exhibited exemplary skills and achievement in specific disciplines. These awards also value the learner's achievement in a specific discipline that has contributed to the school and or community. Award for Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts Filipino and to receive a gold medal goes to... Ashley E. Añero. Award for Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, English, and to receive a gold medal goes to Jaira Sofia G. Majos. Award for Outstanding Performance in Science and to receive a gold medal goes to Camila M. Maulad. Award for Outstanding Performance in Mathematics and to receive a gold medal goes to Jerome Lee L. Delgado.
Award for Outstanding Performance in Social Sciences and to receive a gold medal goes to Erin Grace Riza and Luis. Award for Outstanding Performance in Technical Vocational Education and to receive a gold medal goes to Erin Grace Riza L. Luis. Let us continue with the Junior High School's Honor Students. Parents, please come on stage to don the medal. With honors and to receive a bronze medal goes to Mary Thetis R. Adriano, Top 7. Simon Aurel M. Dusaran, Top 6. Zarina V. Laja, top five. Liz Daniel Dita Rosa, top four.
Rich Angelo Yu Lim, top three. Christine Gate C. Jamal As, top two. With high honors and to receive a silver medal goes to Danae Joy L. Louise. Award for Outstanding Performance in Arts and to receive a gold medal goes to Danae Joy L. Louise. Award for Outstanding Performance in Communication Arts, Filipino and English, and to receive a gold medal goes to Danae Joy L. Louise.
Award for Outstanding Performance in Science and to receive a gold medal goes to Danae Joy L. Luis. Award for Outstanding Performance in Mathematics and to receive a gold medal goes to Erich Angelo Yu Lim. Award for Outstanding Performance in Social Sciences and to receive a gold medal goes to Erich Angelo Yu Lim. Award for Outstanding Performance in Technology, Vocational, Education, Cookery. And to receive a gold medal goes to Zarina V. Laja. Special awards are rewarded to students who exemplified in areas aside from academics. For having exhibited outstanding character in serving others, the school rewards the Service Award Medal to Camila M. Maulad and Zarina V. Laja.
In recognition of their outstanding allegiance for 10 or 11 years in the school, the school rewards this loyalty award medal to Raisha Carmela A. Batakan, Simon Oriel M. Dusaran, Samara Gliniel M. Liedo, and Danae Joy L. Luis. Parents, please come on stage to don the medal. In recognition of their outstanding allegiance in the school, loyalistas, please don the medal to your parents. Congratulations, pupils and students, for a job well done. the Education Program Supervisor for Science of the Department of Education, Division of Zamboanga City, Madam Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez, our President, Dr. Richard C. Rojas, our Resident Director, Reverend Ricky E. Lagare, our Principal, Miss Mona Rose R. Martin, Heads of the different divisions, basic education, faculty and staff, parents, guardians, guests, graduates, 
Fellow completers, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Today, as I stand in front of all of you, I can feel the mix of excitement, pride, and a touch of sadness, bidding farewell to our beloved school, classmates, and to the memories we have made during the past years. Over these years, our hearts are overflowing with the joy, friendship, and incredible growth we have. This day marks as the day we enter another journey in our lifetime and how we reach another milestone in our life. As we stand on the precipice of endless possibilities, ready to spread our wings and soar into the future. Today, as we come together, let us give a big shout out to our awesome faculty and staff. They have worked so hard to make sure we get the best education ever. They have taught us way more than just reading, writing, and arithmetic. They have shown us important things about life that we can use forever. We are super thankful for all the time and effort they have put into helping us learn. Thank you for being patient and understanding with us. We promise we will never forget all you have done. As I reflect on my time in this school, it feels like just yesterday when we saw one another again after the pandemic surge, stepping into the classroom as uncertain sixth graders. Despite our youth and the unknown days ahead, we eagerly embraced the opportunity to learn and explore. Little did I know that the bonds we would form together during those first few months would transform my classmates into lifelong friends and family. Together we laughed, we cried, and supported and encouraged one another. The memories we created from our playful moments on the playgrounds to our collaborative end of wars hold a special place in my heart. Our time spent together, be it working on group projects or simply enjoying each other's company, has had an immeasurable influence on my life. I am really happy that we got to spend an entire year together and made wonderful memories as we grew. I can still recall the moments when we were stressed out with our performance tasks, reports, modules, and tests. The moments when we were having multiple breakdowns because of the pressure and stress we felt from the deadlines, pending activities that we need, needed to pass. Also the moments when we were struggling to understand lessons, especially in math. These are all stressful moments for us students, and I'm sure all of us can relate. But despite of that, we shared memorable and fun experiences in this school, such as the moment when we were helping one another out during performance last week, when we were preparing for Teacher's Day, and also the times when we were practicing for our role plays and dances for our performance tasks. We were all stressed that time, but I am sure that we still had a lot of fun. We spent almost half of the year together. Thank you for creating a wonderful bond with me as a class. The lessons we learned, the laughter we shared, and the journey we embarked on as a united class will forever be treasured. To my beloved classmates turned family, thank you for the incredible journey we shared. And know that the impact you had on my life is something I will forever cherish. Furthermore, furthermore I would like to thank my parents for being with me through this tough journey. You are the reason why I finished this school year. Thank you for guiding me when I was going through a hard time during this school year. Thank you also for understanding me when I was going through a lot of pressure while doing my schoolwork. You guys are the reason why I kept on going. To my fellow learners, grade 6 class, I hope we will still continue persevering as we move forward. I hope we continue to strive for the best as we move on to junior and senior high school. Let us remember that no matter how big or small steps we have taken, we are still making progress that adds up to big results. No matter what happens, whether we fail or pass, we need to understand that it is part of our growing process as we become the person we have always dreamed of. I hope we all have the courage to keep on going. 
In the book of Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, it says, Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid or terrified because of them. For the Lord your God goes with you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. Before I end this speech, I want my fellow learners to say goodbye and bid your thank yous to one another. As we bid our farewell to each other, I cannot bear to let go of those memories we have made, but we need to move forward. The day has come and we all say goodbyes. I am so proud of you all for completing this year full of memories. Thank you once again. I am Erin Grace Riza L. Lewis, graduate of class 23. Thank you once again. To God be all the glory, honor, and praise. To the Education Program Supervisor for Science of the Department of Education Division of Zamboanga City, Madam Leila F. Malonzo Fernandez, our President, Dr. Richard C. Rojas, our Resident Director, Reverend Ricky Ilagare, our Principal, Ms. Mona Rose R. Martin, heads of the different divisions, basic education faculty and staff, parents, guardians, guests, Graduates, fellow completers, friends, ladies, and gentlemen, a blessed morning. It is an honor and a privilege to address you all as we gather here to celebrate this incredible milestone in our lives. This day marks the end of one chapter and the beginning of another, as we step into the vast unknown of the future. I want to take this opportunity to reflect on the friendships that we all have encountered and the memories we have shared with one another. Looking back on our, on our time here in Ebenezer, everything was full of joy and unexpected memories that we will carry with us for a lifetime. I can still recall the late night group, group studies on our GC through video calls just to pass our modules on time. Unexpected gala with friends, sudden jamming inside our classrooms, and competitions we had by class. I can also remember the Christmas party performances, speech choir and recital practices, and of course, the chapel services that were held here. Among all the years, there was something unique about seventh grade. It felt different, lighter, and more fun. It was a moment when we were free from the burden of expectations and pressures and could fully, en and could fully enjoy the adventure of learning and developing together. I also remember the time we went camping and were required to catch frags, ants, flies, in order to complete our task. The high school presented its own set of challenges, from the overwhelming load of projects to the constant scoldings and even being labeled as the worst section. There was a time in our lives when we think of giving up. Those, ayoko na, ang hirap talaga. Tambak na naman tayo ng modules. Despite these challenges, we were able to make special memories that brought us happiness even in the face of adversities. We have discovered our own strengths and weaknesses, honed our skills, and grown into well-rounded individuals. Our time here in Ebenezer has been transformative. We arrived here as wide-eyed freshmen eager to learn and unsure of what the future held. Along the way, we were guided by amazing educators who challenged us, supported us, and imparted invaluable wisdom. Our ac accomplishments are not solely attributed to ourselves. We would like to express our deepest gratitude to our mentors, families, and close friends who, has, who have supported us every step of the way. They supported us when we faltered, believed in us when we didn't, 
when we did not believe in ourselves and fully pray and joyfully praise our accomplishments. Thank you to everyone who made who has made our time here in Ebenezer unforgettable. To our proud parents, we owe you a debt of appreciation. We will not be who we are today without you. Your sacrifices are the ones who have shaped us into well-rounded individuals. To our exceptional educators, our teachers, we thank you for your commitment and hard work. You, will, you all have a special place in our hearts. To my batch, as we bid goodbyes, let, not, let, let us not dwell on the sadness of parting. But instead, cherish the moments Cherish the moments we have shared. We will surely miss those. Tara sa kantin, libre ko kayo. Besa man mo ba ako sa CR? Da papel lang isa, papel lang lahat. Da ma'am, CR lang po ako, pero dederecho pala sa kantin. Also, we will miss those classmates who taught us many things and change our perspectives about lives. Unexpected friendships in sitting arrangement and the Quintuhan's a favorite spot on Ebenezer. Each one of us left an indelible mark on each other's lives. We have celebrated each other's successes, comforted one another in times of disappointment, and stood united in the face of, of negativity. Thank you for the laughters, the shared moments, and the memories we have created together. Here's to the class of 2022 to 2023. May our futures be bright, our paths be filled with success, and our hearts will always carry the spirit of Ebenezer. I am Dene Joy L. Luis, completer of class 2023. Thank you, Ebenezer. Thank you, everyone, and may God bless us all. Fellow learners, please stand. Let us all raise our right hand and say our together a pledge of loyalty. We pledge your loyalty to our beloved Alma Mater, the Ebenezer School, to uphold your vision and mission of exalting Christ. We shall faithfully exert efforts to measure up to her expectations of us, namely, to grow in our commitment to God through a personal relationship with Christ, to reduce conflicts by giving honor and maintaining our redemptive spirit towards offenders, to practice the virtue of faithful goodness, knowledge, self-control, perseverance, godliness, brotherly kindness, love, self-respect, and self-worth as a bearer of God's image. End to identify our roles in the body of Christ and seek to develop our unique gifts of ministry in order that we may effectively serve God and country. On behalf of our basic education alumni president, Ms. Charmaine Faith B. D. Marin, I welcome you to the Ebenezer School Alumni Association. And so I charge you with our unique identity as Ebenezerians, Batch 2023, be the salt and light to the world and glorify God through your lives. We thank the Lord for his faithfulness to Ebenezer all throughout the years. Let us watch this video to see how this school year has been another year of great fun and learning for the grade school and high school graduates and completers.
Hello, hello. 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 of grace is Jesus my redeemer there is no more for heaven now to give he is my joy my righteousness and freedom my steadfast love my deep and boundless peace to this I hold my hope is only Jesus for my life is only bound to His oh how strange and divine I can see all is mine yet not I but true Christ in me Savior, He will stay. I labor on in weakness and rejoicing, for in my need His power is displayed. To this I hold, my shepherd will defend me. To the deepest valley He will that I has been won and I shall overcome yet not I but through Christ in me No faith I dread I know I am forgiven the future sure, the price it has been paid. For Jesus led and suffered for my pardon. And he was raised to overthrow the grave. To this I hope my sin has been defeated. Jesus now and ever is my plea All the chains are released I can sing I am free Yet that I but true Christ in me Every breath I long to follow Jesus For He has said that He will bring me home And day by day I know He will renew me Until I stand with joy before the throne To this I hold my hope is only Jesus, all the glory evermore to Him. When the race is complete, still 
my lips shall repeat yet not I but true Christ in me to this I hope my hope is only Jesus all the glory evermore to him when the race is complete still my lips shall repeat yet not I but true Christ in me when the race is complete still my lips shall repeat yet not I but true Christ in me yet not I but true Christ in me yet not I but you Christ in me On behalf of the grade 6 and grade 10 class of class 2023, I, Zerina Villaggio, would like to present to you the class donation amounting to 11,250 peso as our class donation to be used for the procurement of a portable sound system. May our simple class project be of a great use as the basic education department prepares, expands, and transitions to a full face-to-face -face learning modality for the school 2023-2024 and continues to rise stronger to the challenge of the new normal education. On behalf of Ebenezer Bible College and Seminary Incorporated, as a general services and finance head, I accept the donation given by this class, class 2023, on this 14th day of July, year 
Ano sa beach? Pas. Hello, that's me. One, two, three. One, two, three. requested to stand for the closing prayer and benediction. Let us pray. Our most gracious and heavenly Father, we thank you for sustaining these graduates and completers. You know for sure that there were times they thought of just giving up with all the demands of transitioning from full-time modular, online modular learning to full face-to-face -face meetings. But your strength, wisdom, and empowerment have led them to not compromising academic excellence. They have displayed great resiliency, yet but we have to acknowledge that this is by your grace.
that brought them success amidst adversities. O Lord, please accept our praises and adoration. This time, allow me to entrust these lives fully to you. Together with the parents, as they embark another academic journey, keep that passion in their hearts and release to them your abundant blessing. Graduates and completers, together with your parents, may God's gentle hand guide every decision you will make and the passions that you follow. May your hearts and lives always reflect God's love and truth. The Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up His countenance upon you and give you peace now and forevermore. Amen and Amen. audience is requested to remain seated during the album session and until the recessional march of the graduates and completers is over. The first shot is for the high school completers with their advisor only. second shot is for the grade school with their advisor only. The grade school graduates with their advisor only.
the last shot is for the high school completers, grade school graduates, with the guests, faculty, and staff. Again, for the last shot, high school completers, grade school graduates, with the guests, faculty, and staff. Again, calling all the high, high school completers, please come up on stage for our last shot. Announcement, we are requesting all the recipients of the KCC Academic Awardees to stay after the program for the signing of the acknowledgement receipt. Again, those who have received KCC Academic Awardees, please stay shortly for the signing of acknowledgement receipt.
congratulations, graduates and completers, and to you, dear parents. A good day to all, and thank you for joining us. God bless us all. Calling all the faculty and staff, please come on stage for our pictorial. Again, calling all the faculty and staff, please come on stage for our pictorial. Sound, sound check. We have an announcement from one of our parents. To those daw po na nakapagbayad for the catering, you may proceed to gym po. You may proceed to the gym. Again, to those who paid for the catering service, you may proceed to the gym. Thank you.
terrible. Preschool Primary Dao.